Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Dinners2k7. Uh, this is part one of a two-part tutorial on um, showing you how to speed up Windows XP. Um, I assume it will be the same for Windows Vista. Um, you could try and follow along with it if you have Vista if you want. But it's not guaranteed for Vista because I don't actually have it. Okay, so... Um, for starters we'll go to disk cleanup and to that you need to go to start, all programs, accessories, system tools, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but system tools and then to disk cleanup, I think you get the picture. Um, when it opens, select which drive you want, I'll just do my C drive, click OK, and now it'll work out how much space it can save. Ok, while that's carrying on I'll show you the disk defragmenter. You can get to this, hold on, oh, I'll finish off all saying. You can get to this by going again to start, all programs, accessories, system tools, and to disk defragmenter. Okay, when you get to the disk defragmenter, you click on whichever drive you want to do. Um, click analyze to see if it even needs to be defragmented. Okay, it says I should defragment this for you. I'm not going to defragment it at the moment because when it is defragmenting you uh, your system will run a little bit slower but once it's finished uh, performance will increase okay so uh, back to the disk cleanup one you can only save 27 uh, that's because I've recently done it but uh, you select which ones you want to get rid of click OK click yes and it will clean it up and your computer should run a little bit faster okay next I'm going to show you um, Internet uh, ones for Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer, um, just to get rid of some files that you won't need. Okay, so you go to Tools and Options, and you don't need to keep any. Well, you don't have to keep history. If you keep it, it does slow it down a little bit because it has to store it on your system. Uh, you can remember, but you don't have to uh, the information into search bars and things. And there is no point in remembering what you've downloaded. Uh, cookies are deleted every time I close Firefox, uh, just to make it easier. And private data, uh, always clear private data when I close Firefox. I have that checked, so it deletes every time anyway, so it's just save me space. But if you don't, you just click clear now, and it'll clear it for you. Okay, so uh, now we go to Internet Explorer. Uh, it's pretty much the same, go to Tools, Internet Options. On here, you can um, if you set your days to keep history to zero, it won't keep any anyway, which will save some space. But if you do have it, say you just click clear history. Are you sure you want to delete your history visited websites? Yes, and that uh, will get rid of that for you. Uh, delete the cookies, okay. Delete files and all offline content. Click OK, and that should make it run a little bit faster. Uh, just a point, if you keep the Mozilla Firefox homepage as it is, it does uh, load up a lot quicker. Uh, whereas if you use YouTube, it has to load up all the videos at the beginning, so uh, the uh, startup won't be as quick. Okay, so that's um, cached web pages. Now two, um, two different tricks for uh, my computer. One of them, you go to Tools, Folder Options, go to View and uncheck automatically search for network folders and printers that does not want to be checked okay so you uncheck that click apply click ok and that just allows you to open up my computer quicker than you would if it was checked okay the second one uh, you right click the drive that you want to do it to I'll do it to my C drive again go to properties and make sure you uncheck allow indexing service to index this file for fast file searching so that doesn't want to be like that, you want to uncheck it like that. Um, you can also access the defragmenting one by going to tools on this um, one. And yeah, I think that's about it to show you on there. Okay, so click apply and click OK and that one's sorted. And the final one for part one of this is to disable visual styles. And to do this you need to go to start and control panel. Once control panel is loaded up, you need to go to system. And on system, you need to click the advanced tab. And under performance, which is here, click settings. Okay, on this, if you click adjust for best performance, it will automatically uncheck all the boxes. And then you click apply and OK. And 
actually amazing how much it makes a difference but your computer will, will run a heck of a lot faster just by doing that if you decide you don't like it just click adjust for best appearance or let uh, windows choose what's best what's best for me is all ticked but um, I'd rather have performance and appearance um, if you decide you want it to run faster but you don't want to get rid of the mo uh, with, uh, rid of the main styles all you need to do is just check the last box like that Okay, so that's as easy as that. Okay, thanks for watching part one. Um, there'll be a part two link in the description and on the video annotation which will pop up now. Okay, so thanks for watching and remember to watch part two.